aim assist. Okay, well. I don't know why I keep shooting people in the shoulders, man. That's a headshot. Both end up. You lose that with plates? Holy fuck, sniping sucks so bad. You got lucky, bitch. Suck my dick, I see. Oh, trap. Oh, you gotta work on Fuck that. Me. Oh, shit. Take this. Oh my god, dude! Oh, I almost lost that. Is it this guy again? I'm gonna pull out the shotty real quick. Stop! What? Okay. So trash, dude. Yeah, man. Definitely. Wait, what? Oh, okay, he's in the wall. I genuinely thought that there was a door there that I just didn't see. I don't know the map, but... That's so fucking stupid, man. You ruined my night. Looks like Skate put out a new video. What you're about to see is pre-pre-pre-alpha. Things might look a little different than you're expecting, but we're still working on it. Oh, they got music. I mean, it looks good. Looks like Skate, for sure. Looking at it mechanically, definitely looks like Skate. The one biggest issue with a lot of these games when they come back after all these years is that they try to do some weird stylistic change that just really doesn't make any sense, but looks around like the physics and everything looks similar and shit. Lots of custom game shit. Oh, man. This game's gonna be massive. Fuck yeah. Right, so Raven put out some patch notes. Lootable perks have been added to Fortune's Keep. I was playing a little bit of Fortune's Keep since you saw there, like, in the intro a little bit, but definitely some issues. Uh, exploiting black market things. Did they fix the people going into the walls and shit? I feel like I'm in Verdansk all over again. They gave a nerf to the NZ. Low torso damage multiplier is down. It's definitely gonna hurt its, uh, gonna hurt its DPS a little bit. Orb Weaver loses 5% of its, uh, efficiency in recoil control. Loses 10% muzzle velocity. Oh yeah, by the way, since people, like, uh, you know, screenshot shotting my classes and shit. I have another new set of things to say here in this class setup. Dance had bad visibility, a closed stadium, perma ghost, skyscrapers, light speed vehicles in reverse or drive, DMR zone, no anti-cheat, where map exploits everywhere, rocks, walls, every single major POI had some wall or floor or something that somebody was hiding in. To the point where they wouldn't even, they would just die in there. They would choose to just die in it. They wouldn't even crawl out. You couldn't traverse any of the rocks. So if you ended up on a bad part of like the actual verticality and elevation and shit, the same shit that people complain about over on Caldera, it existed on Verdansk and the dam was unbroken. They actually did nerf the UGM as well. Wow, that was quick. Cash drop on the way. Wait, where? Where's the cash drop? What? There are no cash drops. And I just picked up the two. I just picked up the two nerfed weapons right off the ground immediately. What the fuck? He just kept shooting. Wait, is he walling? What the fuck? Why was he shooting into the ground? There's no way the aim assist was tugging him through the terrain, right? I expected him to stop shooting because there's no way he had a shot on me anymore. What the fuck? I also definitely felt that bullet velocity hit right there. I don't know what the attachments are over on that UGM, the ground loot one, but how did I run out of stamina already? Ooh. Oh, there's the cash drops. Okay, so there were cash drops. They're just, I don't know. They weren't on my map for whatever reason. I don't think anybody saw it since there's this many of them here. Did they changed them? Did they make it so cash drops don't come in immediately? Is this a bug that's just not displaying them and they were there? There's somebody right over here.
That is such bullshit, man. I, I disrespected him. I expected him literally to just be complete dog shit considering how easily I fried the fuck out of him, right? With only two plates. I have enough gameplay in this video. I don't care. But people were saying if they ended up nerfing the uh, NZ, everybody would just end up going over to the UGM, but the UGM is just... Eh, that one got hit too. I don't really know in terms of long range what's the next option obviously smgs you got like the blixen the marco and the blixen and marco did get hit i think did they hit the armaguer because the armaguer is pretty good as well sniper rifles actually wait a minute three line rifle car 98 and type 99 all got a four percent muzzle velocity buff i mean keep the buffs coming also i found out that obviously running like the other sites and stuff like that it helps out a lot with way and stuff like that you don't get that crazy sway with the three line that i was complaining about before uh, with any of the other things besides the default scope. The default scope, I don't know why it does it that badly. Like, for me, ever since Black Ops 1, I was a big default scope type of user. I felt like the scope and the animation of the scope, instead of just slapping a scope onto it that can be on every other weapon, like a 3.5 or a 3 to 6 or whatever, I felt like the default scopes, no matter what they were, gave that weapon character. That's part of the weapon's identity, the specific default scope. And it felt cheap to me to sit there and get rid of it. Same thing with some iron sights. It's just, a, it's a weird little thing for myself. Blixen, max damage range got decreased by like three meters or something, not even two and a half. Mid damage range decreased by two meters. Marco hipfire accuracy decreased when crouch or prone position. Were people really abusing the crouch or prone that badly? So this still makes it so regular Marco is completely fine though. 355 millimeter movement speed decreased to 5% down from 10%. So actually the Marco is good. Marco is the way to go it looks like it's also my kind of style of weapon as well because it's very good like sniper support and shit so lengthened ammunition took a two percent bullet velocity hit muzzles mx silencer bullet velocity decreased to 12 percent down from 15 percent so we lost three percent muzzle velocity there with the silencer which we actually technically make back up and get like a net game of like one percent bullet velocity on sniper rifles this guys ffar is actually kind of shredding the hand stop Recoil control decreased to 3.5% down from 4%. Everybody used the hand stop when they wanted the most decrease possible, so they ended up hitting that. I still think Carver's great. Uh, the other steady one is great, or heavy grip, or whatever it's called. They brought back Rebirth Island. It doesn't look like Fortune's Keep is gonna go anywhere. Rebirth Island isn't gonna get solos until near the end of July, so I'm still not touching Rebirth anyway, so hey. I mean, it doesn't matter considering Fortune's Keep is just better anyway. <laughs> hey, and more and more content creators are tweeting. They're like, hey, I'm sorry, but we're being a little bit tough on Caldera. I'm just saying. This man decided to loot the box next to the body instead first. That's just disrespectful. He don't think shit of you. I mean, maybe he's just really comfortable with the Owen gun, I guess. So yeah, they basically hit all of the pretty meta picks. I, I don't really know. They have been buffing the three line. I'm happy with that, but it seems like to be the only real viable sniper rifle that actually has competitive ADS and like long distance pressure. You, you can be as accurate as you want with the HDR, but it won't matter when you're just getting beamed by virtually everything in the game. Sniper rifles need to be faster acting and have the handling and the feeling of the car 98 of how it used to be in order to actually compete. There's a reason why that saw so much success because it's the only sniper rifle that could actually do that shit. They need to go back to those ways of being handled and the one shot head shot shit that they did cooper has been buffed a lot recently so maybe the cooper will take its place now the cooper is quite good i don't know i don't know how bad the nz nerf is i'll have to play more i've actually been playing though so i don't know i think the armaguera since it hasn't gotten touched might be pretty good now i mean i don't think any of their actual ttks are gonna get hit but like at a distance the armaguera is actually pretty good it works a lot like how the blixen barrel is where the barrel is just so fucking good that you can start just putting anything that you want on virtually every other part of the weapon it's crazy the nz was unused for so long so many people were trying to get it to work but its recoil pattern was just to dog shit and then they finally buff it end up over buffing it to where everybody uses it which is fine but now they're nerfing it but they're not gutting it so I, I think basically where the nz lands now is really the sweet spot where it should have been it should be a highly accurate weapon it shouldn't have a super super fast ttk with how accurate it is right it basically needs to fall in line exactly where like the cooper carbine is because i think the cooper carbine with the certain builds and shit like smaller caliber high fire rate all that shit with the recent buffs to the cooper i think the cooper might be it now i think that really sucks about the blixen though oh this guy sees him that's not gonna work you can't climb over that one thing that's really bad about the blixen is that it's uh it's ads firing move speed is dog shit the ads firing move speed is super super bad on the uh the blixen if you keep it as a burst it might be kind of doing like you know shades of the ugm with the burst on there where it's just that shit ain't moving 
And if you hit headshots, that's the main thing that was really strong about the UGM. It was that, that that headshot multiplier. If you landed like one bullet, you're reducing TTK. It's crazy. You're very likely to land them with like high fire rate, low caliber, with a burst. They're all like sitting right behind each other. I mean, maybe the MAC-10 can be up here too with SMGs. SMGs are weird right now because like the Type 100 is obviously TTK king, but like the recoil is like super, it's a lot less consistent. Let's see the recoil. Go ahead, just lay it down like 20 plus bullets. Yeah, you see it. Lay it down. You got controller. Engage the rotational. Oh, okay. You, you see it like going left and right. That's not him making those adjustments. That's literally just the recoil. Pushing it with the Blixen. Coming around back. Melts him. I mean, the Blixen is still obviously very good. The SMGs though, besides the Type 100 and like the MAC-10, they're like these slower firing, yet they're great TTK. Like easy to control recoil and shit on the SMGs, which is always nice. I like SMGs that have a little bit more of a medium range to it. Or like an AR that's a little bit more like melty up close. Like the AS Val. Like I really miss running around with like the AS Val and Car 98 combo. That's really the cleanest setup that we possibly could have had. For solo specifically. It's not like the AS Val is bad either. But it just loses. And on top of that, snipers still ain't competing with shit at a distance anyway. They're buffing the snipers. I'm happy they're doing that. But it's really that headshot change. And uh, they did reduce the uh, actual flinch that you get on aggressive snipers. Which is good. These are good changes for snipers, but there's a reason they all fell out of meta, man. Man, I wonder what the initial meta of Warzone 2 is going to be like. I wonder if it's going to be, like, really as bad as how everybody had it going over on, like, I went back and watched a lot of old Warzone videos. Yeah, it is a Cooper. He's still picking the NZ up off of the ground instead of the Cooper, though. That's interesting. I mean, I don't know what either of their close-range TTKs are, so. This is the same spot that that one dude was camping in last time we were here. Matt still picks an NZ class. All right. Throwing knife, double time. I disagree with double time. You really don't need double time. Like, even when you're slide canceling and shit with double time, it genuinely doesn't make enough of a difference. It really doesn't. Like, unless maybe you're just not so good at slide canceling or whatever, but clearly this guy knows how to slide cancel and shit. You're much better off picking something like serpentine or cold blooded. Lucky that guy's not using a. Uh... Oh, okay. We'll get to see this. He's missed every bullet. All right. I mean, looking at the recoil, though, doesn't look so bad. I finished reading up all the uh, manga of uh, Hunter Hunter, like a refresher and shit like that. I'm telling you, once we get to Saradnik, that's how you say his name. I, I think so. That motherfucker is evil. He might be the most evil character we've seen in the series yet. That's not a spoiler. It's just a name. If they animate this shit, it's going to be huge. Oh, I'm so happy they nerfed the heartbeat sensor. Do you guys remember how the heartbeat sensor was literally instantaneous and it would wave like every three seconds or some shit? We were talking about batteries for this thing. Now they just slowed it down to a point to where you just look like a dumbass. Just trying to stare down at it. You already look stupid as fuck dying with it in your hand anyway, but like, dude, it's going, you've gone 40 meters scanned in every single direction. The guy clearly has ghost on or something. Oh. Oh, the guy had literally no plates. He, he was not armored at all. Okay. Yeah, that's basically the new rose skin right there, though, because that shit. There's some people that were already running around with it like a day or two ago with like the unlock tool shit. And that shit, surprisingly, it's not as bright as you would think. Purple lines and shit, they're only so noticeable. And it's not like it's yellow, it's purple. It could be dark. All right, well, yeah, uh, anyway, Rebirth is back if you want to go and play quads or whatever. I don't play quads, though. That shit is boring as fuck. Enjoy.